in the last lesson we completed our sign-in process okay now this time we can give it a try so let's go to routes auth and let's create a new route for sign-in okay so we can copy this paste here so this time also it's going to be post but this time it's going to be to sign in route okay we don't need the validator for this one and this is going to be sign in okay and that is it we should be able to uh, give it a try now sign in okay let's make sure we have the sign in method yes perfect now let's go ahead and give it a try so go to the browser go to the uh, postman in fact and to sign in first we need to make sure it is sign in okay it's a post type and we don't need name to sign in we need only email and password okay so let's give it a try with this user looks like we don't have our server running let's have a look here okay we've got some error sign in sign in okay we try to use that route but we didn't import okay so let's go to our routes auth and of course we need to import here okay now we should be good to go give it a try okay come back here let's give it a try again we have something here unhandled error event password looks like the s is missing where is that that's auth.js okay let's go to our controllers there's another typo i did somewhere pas okay that should be double s okay because we're giving the uh, password to this authenticate method that is coming from the request body beautiful okay let's save this come back here looks like now everything is perfect okay now let's try one more time and that is absolutely great we got the token and we've got the user object with id email and name how great is that right now let's try with something uh, wrong so wrong password let's give it a try email and password do not match beautiful okay so our hard work paid off it's pretty rock solid okay so later we can use this token to identify the user identify that the user is logged in and we can give them certain authorities like you can create a new post you can update delete post and so on okay we can build the entire authentication this authorization workflow because now we can authenticate users using the json web token okay so this is really great now let's continue further let's work on the sign out method as well in the next lesson which is going to be really easy and then we can move ahead and start uh, implementing all the features like the signed in user can create a new post new post will have uh, the username who created and a lot more okay so let's continue this awesome journey in the next lesson thank you